The KXAN News Podcast is sponsored by Shelf Genie. Thank you. Uh, back in Williamson County, this hail continues to intensify. Let's go tight west of Round Rock just for a moment. It looks like I might see some egg size hail there, that purple color. Here we are on Great Oaks Drive, just north of the 45 toll and 620. Golf ball size hail or larger. This is moving directly eastward into Round Rock. So we do want to stay with these storms as this damaging hail moves into our populated metro area. Jeff Mangum is still positioned up near 183 in Duval. Uh, let's take his shot and see how these storms are looking from that area. There he is. You can see some folks there on the elevated roadways, some dark clouds there. Do we still have Jeff on the phone line? All right, uh, Nick Bannon, I'm going to let you talk to Jeff here. He's up in northwest Austin as the storms roll through. Jeff, what we've been seeing is uh, up to golf ball sized hail in some areas. A lot of reports coming in about an inch in diameter so far. Uh, you're very close to getting the hail where you are. Certainly the frequency of the lightning is apparent and the heavy rain is coming your way. Uh, what are you seeing so far? What are you anticipating? Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, we're about one um, mile away from the front of the hail court coming to our direction, uh, our location. Uh, what we're noticing is the hail cores just keep building further south. And so uh, I'm anticipating that this storm is just going to become more robust over the next few minutes. So uh, we're parked under a, uh, uh, a car wash and kind a of parking garage area and uh, kind of in a safe spot. So we'll see what happens. But we're looking at 183 right in front of us, and it is packed with cars. So uh, unfortunate situation for a lot of drivers. No doubt happening during the evening rush hour on a Friday, certainly far from ideal. Jeff, we'll keep checking back in with you. We do want to share some new video we've been getting uh, of some of the hail falling in parts of Central Texas from uh, viewer Karen uh, Buchanan, just west of Lake Buchanan. You can see some of the hail pelting her backyard there, and you can certainly hear it as well. Let's take you to another viewer, Victoria Barber. Wow. This is around 3.30 this afternoon, taken on 183 just south of Rampasas. Hail pound, uh, pounding the car as they were on the highway there just trying to get through. And this is why we've been advising you never to drive through this type of stuff uh, unless you absolutely have to to get your kids or to get to safety. And then we've got some pictures that have been coming in. This from a That's viewer, uh, Michelle Small, showing the... Storm clouds rolling into the Lampasas area. More images of the storm clouds rolling into the Round Rock area, I believe, here from this particular viewer, Alexis Panther. And as we get you some of the hail images from Burnett, this is from Madison in Burnett, showcasing some of the hail there and some of the issues that it's been causing. Hail up to golf ball size there, Madison reporting, and also marble size. You can really see it there uh, in her hand. Uh, we also have some video from Scott Wagner of the hail falling in Kingsland. Me. And you can uh, just see that there. Uh, we now have Mercedes live on Lake Line Boulevard near where Austin meets Cedar Park. Mercedes, what do you see? Hey there, very much a, a lot of rain. Uh, me and our videographer Jake Sykes here are parked under a, kind of a, an awning at a gas station um, just to take cover, but there are a lot of cars out here. I don't know if you can hear that thunder, but there's a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning. I'm gonna give you guys a look. Let me get that camera out here and try to give you a look on this side of our mobile storm chasing vehicle. But yeah, a lot of a lot of lightning, a lot of rain, um, definitely a lot more cars on the road than is probably ideal right now. So everybody that is driving home, it probably should uh, just take their time, you know, just drive carefully. Try not to go anywhere if you are watching this at home. Uh, take it from me, we're out here in the elements uh, and please just, just stay safe out there, y'all. Thank you so much. Mercedes Hernandez reporting live for us as the storms roll through the area. I wanted to give you a live a, a picture of where the hail is because although we have severe thunderstorm warnings in Austin right now, the worst of the hail is staying just north of us, at least for the time being. If uh, Nick, you wouldn't mind zooming in just west of Round Rock and then let's take the Round Rock camera back in the control room on WeatherNet if we can. I've already got that pulled up for you. Uh, just west of Round Rock, this is my main concern right now as an area of what looks like damaging hail, probably golf ball size, moves just on the north side of Jollyville, into Jollyville itself, and toward the center of Round Rock, downtown Round Rock. Notice some broken areas of hail extending uh, out toward Jonah 
in Williamson County as well. But let's go real tight here into um, after we track this out into that area west of Round Rock. Here's the track with the correct forward speed of this line. So the hail is going to be moving into Jollyville right now. It is 503. Hutto 507, Waterloo at 510, Pflugerville 513, and into places like Oak Ridge by 515. Just west of Round Rock, let's, oh, look at that new radar scan near Jollyville. That looks like even larger hail just to the southwest of here. There we are on Palmer. So this is right near where Jeff is located. Let me know if they're seeing anything on their shot. This is golf ball size hail falling in the northwestern Austin metro from Lakeline Mall and Anderson Mill to Jollyville up toward Round Rock. Let's go to our WeatherNet camera from the control room if we can. We've got a camera right in Round Rock and look at all this traffic. My goodness. This is happening as a severe thunderstorm capable of producing golf ball size hail is moving into the area. Let's go to the TxDOT camera at 183 in Duval. Oh man, I know it's rush hour. This is hard to avoid as folks are getting off of work or getting where they're going, but uh, this is thousands and thousands of vehicles that are about to get or are getting right now hail damage from these storms that are rolling through the Austin area. Several springs in Austin's history, when we have a pretty widespread area of quarter to golf ball size hail like we're seeing now, moving into the populated parts of the Austin metro, that can be a $100 million hailstorm. That can be a $160 million hailstorm when you look at all of the insurance claims from homes, roofs, uh, from vehicle damage. Uh, and as I mentioned, this golf ball size hail is really serious. That is enough to pretty seriously damage your vehicle uh, if you're trapped out in it. So in these areas, what do you do? You stay home. This is exactly what we've been advising the whole time. This line of storms, not all quite as intense as that part up in Round Rock and North Austin, thank goodness, but it is affecting a lot of us with dangerous lightning and heavy rain. As we mentioned, no serious hail right now moving into Travis County farther south in the line, but we'll keep an eye on that and for any potential spots of rotation uh, as this continues. Let me take you back to the Austonian weather camera, if we can punch that up straight. Spectacular view of this line of storms moving into Austin. And you can see on the right side there, that's the rain shaft and the hail falling in Jollyville in Northwest Austin to Cedar Park. You saw some flashes of lightning out over there. None of these are tornadic clouds. These are just on the left side, what we call scud clouds. Uh, that's just indicative of some low level moisture. Um, not a tornado threat in Austin at this time. Let's go to our reporter, Brianna Hollis, live in Round Rock. Bree, we see your, uh, we hear that you are seeing some hail. Tell us about it. Yeah, I actually have a couple of pieces in my hand right now. We can take a closer look. Um, I've had them in my hand for about a minute, so they've melted a bit, but it's significantly bigger than it was when I signed off with you guys about 10 minutes ago. I want to go ahead and take a look at the traffic. I heard you guys talking a lot about the traffic on I-35. There's some first responders out here. We can't tell at this point if there's a crash and that's what is slowing things up right now. But a lot of people out here on the road, like you said, getting hammered by this hail at the moment. And if we can get a closer look at some of the cars and the hail that's hitting the car, it's, I mean, it's loud. I'm staring at it right here. Yeah. And I'm seeing the, the hail bigger than what we saw earlier, um, even bigger than the pieces that were just in my hand a minute ago. Of course, this is accompanied by rain. We're seeing some cooling spots out here in the parking lot. But when I face the other way, you know, looking north, I am seeing some sunshine. So also just indicative of how quickly these storms are moving through, David. Ouch. Hail on all those vehicles in that brand new Audi. Brianna Hollis in North Austin, Round Rock area. Uh, we'll check back in with you here shortly. Let's go to Jeff who is also in the Northwest Austin area. We hear Jeff starting to see some hail. I think he's at 183 in Duval. Is that right, Laney? 183 in Duval. We already talked about all the traffic there on the flyovers when we spoke to Jeff, our KXAN storm chaser a moment ago. Uh, you can see at the bottom of the frame there, it looks like some heavy rain certainly hitting the ground, probably mixed with some, uh, some hail in there. Of course, this far away, it's a little tough as that falls into a uh, water-soaked pavement to tell how, how big that hail is. Good to see one of those cars under uh, a protected carport there. This is Duval and 183 right here. Yeah, Nick, why don't you show us where we're looking? 
Yeah, so this is a uh, tight zoomed in view of where our storm chaser Jeff Mangum is right now. There's the 183 and then this road right here is Duval. OK, so where they meet is right here. And uh, David, maybe you could put a query on the, the type of hail they may be seeing right now where 183 meets Duval. And what we're also seeing is just to the west and northwest of where Jeff is, is where the uh, bigger hail is up to walnut golf ball size hail inch in diameter inch and three quarters in diameter. So if he's getting hail, it's probably pea size for now. Uh, but uh, as that hail in Jollyville basically slides east southeast down 183, then the chances of Jeff starting to get some of the larger hail where he is only goes up and probably just a few minutes from now, David. Uh, yeah, why don't you show us the uh, the weather net camera? We've got Round Rock pulled up. This is the okay. Whittlesea on the south side of Round Rock. Look at this traffic, Nick. Yeah, I, my wife's, uh, I tried to get her to leave work early. <laughs> oh, she no. couldn't. She's stuck on 35, trying to get east on 45. This is what 35 looks like right near where it meets 45 uh, toll. So kind of right around there. And that hail is actually only going to get worse as the larger hail from the Jollyville area only works toward where 35 meets 45. So in Round Rock now, your hail will only get larger for a little bit before it actually starts uh, to come down. And you can see the general movement here does move that hail southeast into more of Round Rock. Uh, and then areas like Wells Branch, portions of Pflugerville too, could get in on some of that very large hail. You can see where the worst of the hail right now is. It's in Jollyville right along uh, 45 toll and just to the south where it's estimated up to golf ball size hail. So far, some of the largest reports of hail that we've seen uh, officially around an inch, inch and a half. Wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing these numbers go up as more of this hail heads into very populated areas, David. Update here from the Weather Service saying storms maintaining their strength in Williamson County, but the strongest activity may skirt just to the north of downtown Austin, given the current trends, mm -hmm. that could, of course, certainly change. We are still preparing for the storms in Austin. We also have yeah. the ex expansion and extension here of the severe thunderstorm warning, which now includes all of Travis County, of course, and also into Lee County and now into Bastrop County. That's through the 6 p.m. hour. So as expected, as the squall line moves out towards the east, 40 miles per hour, we're going to continue to see the severe thunderstorm warnings issued and they'll continue to expire out towards the west, but then be reissued here further out towards the east again as it moves eastward 35 to 40 miles per hour We're continuing to track this very linear line of severe thunderstorms capable of producing large hail and damaging winds. We've had multiple reports here up to golf ball size hail and of course those wind gusts David 65 to 70 miles per hour showing you that perspective here along uh, uh, the Austonian weather camera here. Yeah let's take that if we can look at that. Spectacular. Yeah, now we're looking on the Austonian from downtown, Sean, northward. And that shaft of, of uh, dark gray in the center and right of your screen, that's the rain core and the hail shaft, as we call it, uh, in the distance. That's over Jollyville. It's over Round Rock. That's damaging hail that you can see in the distance. And if we look left a little bit on the Austonian, uh, this is, I think we're still seeing kind of that green color, aren't we? You see that under the darkest clouds, how it's sort of backlit yeah. by the sunshine on the, in the hill country. Uh, we've seen kind of this green color in addition to those Mamatis clouds, you. the low hanging fruit under the uh, thunderstorm anvil. Uh, this is just really indicative. Everything I'm saying just means it's a really strong thunderstorm. So here we are back. I think this is 183, right? It is 183 in Duval. You could see some of that flooding rain kind of pulling over there on the shoulder of the road as uh, traffic moving a little bit uh, better there, David. But you can see, uh, starting to see really that, that water pile up on the shoulder. Okay, let's go back to the radar here as Nick gives us a broad view of the line. We don't want to lose track of everybody else. Just quickly wanted to mention a brand new severe thunderstorm warning that does include Austin. Goes until 545. One of them was about to expire, so they wanted to get ahead of it and reissue the warning and extend it a little farther to the south and east and into portions of Bastrop County. And, and what are we mentioning specifically, Nick, on the, on the severe... In Travis from the weather service. Just is 60 mile per hour. 60? Okay. Yeah, but uh, an inch and a half in hail. Okay, ping pong ball size hail and 60 mile an hour winds in Travis County possible according to the National Weather Service. So let's put this here into motion. Let's stay on Travis County and then we'll go down southwest if we can and then we'll circle back up to the hail. So in Travis County, 
Again, even though the storm doesn't look quite as strong as what we're seeing just in the northern part of Austin, this is still a severe thunderstorm capable of producing damaging hail up to ping pong ball size and wind gusts that are almost hurricane force, 60 miles per hour. You can see some lightning now striking the ground in northeast Austin where it's not even raining. Please stay indoors. That's called the bolt from the blue, a bolt where you could have blue skies. Of course, not quite today. Here goes the movement of the line through the Austin area. Potential for hail damage and wind damage in these communities at the listed times. 522 downtown Austin, that's in eight or nine minutes. Maynard at 528, Buda 542, Elroy, Niederwald, and Cedar Creek right around the six o'clock hour. This KXAN News Podcast is brought to you by Shelf Genie. I'm Rosie Newberry from KXAN Studio 512. Considering replacing your kitchen cabinets? Struggling to find or reach things? Go to ShelfGenie.com slash Austin. Shelf Genie designs custom pull-out shelves for your existing cabinets, adding convenience and value to the most used room in your home. Shelf Genie custom pull-out shelves, everything in reach. Let's double check back on the hail core on Travis County. And we'll go back to that North Austin stuff in a moment. It doesn't look like the line southwest of us has been successful in building in hail. This is good news for our friends in, uh, at the Y at Oak Hill, Bee Cave, Lakeway, Dripping Springs. You guys are getting a thunderstorm, but we're not detecting any hail in that at the time being. Um, the velocity can get a little messy here in Travis County since we're between two radar sites. Uh, but there is the potential, again, of 60-plus mile-per-hour wind gusts with this line and as well. And another important note too from the National Weather Service yeah, is Sean. that the movement of the line has slowed down uh, quite a bit. It was again at its fastest rate up to 45 miles per hour, now moving towards the southeast 25 miles per hour. So we're gonna be dealing with the hail in these areas that are experiencing the hail for a longer period of time now that the overall movement of this line has slowed down quite a bit. Yeah, that's a very good point. Do we still have Round Rock up on the weather net? Uh, last time we saw that camera, they were getting rain, hail, and there was just gridlock traffic. Change it. I'll take whatever we've got on the weather net if we need to. Oh, yeah, it is on the Austonian. Do you guys mind changing that back to Round Rock here? Got it. Um, again, the strongest part of the storm that we're going to focus in on here is over Pflugerville, Round Rock, now past Georgetown. Georgetown, you guys really don't have any more hail. That's good news as the worst of it passes you. But let's go tight here. This hail core is shifting southward a little bit. Uh, it looks like now south of Pflugerville even may get it some of the worst. Uh, let me know back in the control room what we're seeing on Jeff and Mercedes shots as well. We can take them at any time. Okay, so here, watch the hail core moving with me. It, it's kind of creeping southward. Can we zoom in up toward the domain, uh, Northern Travis County, uh, Mopac right there? Yep, perfect. Here we are in Jollyville, Tanglewood Estates. Here's 183. There's 360 Mopac, the Arboretum's down at the bottom of your screen. This is golf ball size hail in a really populated area. Here we are in the domain. What size hail? Okay, we'll go to her, her in one second. Here we are on the Indeed weather cam up at the domain. This is exactly where we were looking. Of course, it's too far above the streets to see the hail size, but a significant storm right now moving through north central Austin. Let's go to Brianna Hollis, who is live for us in Round Rock with another report on the rain and hail there. Bree. Hey guys, so I was getting ready to tell you that it looked like the rain was stopping, but we just got another round of hail and you can probably hear it again hitting the cars out here. But looking north, see the sun panning south, see all the dark clouds over there over I-35. But just wanted to kind of give you guys an update that it does look like we're starting to get to the point of it fully leaving this area over here yeah. in Round Rock. Okay, great. Um, Sean, do you mind pulling that up for us on, on Max 1 here in a little bit? Brianna Hall is live in Round Rock. Thank you so much. That's um, we're going to show you the traffic maps here in just a moment because this is really snarling things right as rush hour hits on a Friday. Sometimes rush hour is a little earlier on a Friday, but, you know, these storms didn't hit at 6 o'clock. They hit starting at 430, so they've impacted so many of us out on the roads who had to be there, unfortunately. Right now, just to update you, if you're just joining us, a line of severe thunderstorms is moving through the middle of the KXAN viewing area. That translates to the Austin area. We've seen radar indications of golf ball size hail in North Austin, Pflugerville, and Round Rock. We also have the potential of 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts. That's capable of causing scattered power outages and bringing some tree limbs down. As we look live from the domain, Indeed, weather cam again showing some heavy rain and hail. We also have our reporter, Mercedes Hernandez, who is in the northwest Austin area. Do we have Mercedes? Thank you, David. Yeah, um, we're kind of looking that, so. here to our to the right side of of me. That's that storm cell that's moving over Round Rock. Right
right now, but definitely still seeing a lot of lightning. Things are lightening up kind of where we're at. Um, I'd say uh, a little bit west um, in terms of uh, being directly in Cedar Park. Um, but yeah, it's definitely lightening up here compared to what we saw just maybe 10 minutes ago. Those big fat rain droplets really aren't falling as fast and as heavy anymore. Um, the traffic here is We're kind of looking a little bit more normal uh, as people start, you know, trying to make their way home. But uh, definitely if you're headed anywhere, if you're stuck on the road right now, uh, still drive carefully. There's lots of lightning and rain just not right where we're at right now. So yeah, as, as you guys have been saying over and over again, just stay home. All right, Mercedes Hernandez, thank you so much. Let's go to Sean Kelly now with a look at how this is impacting the roadways. Yeah, at 518, let's, let's get a look here at the traffic maps here and go back to that TxDOT camera that I have of 183 and Duval Road. We have that up on our traffic maps, and then I'm going to show you what's going on out there. Look, again, we're watching for some of these uh, minor areas with some of that water starting to pile up on the, the shoulder of the road. You can see actually yeah. traffic picking up a little yeah, bit uh, better there. But uh, now let's get to those that. traffic maps. I'm going to show you some of those major delays as, of course, we're heading to the busy Friday evening commute. Yes, a lot of people heading home from work. If we can, again, get to the maps, there we go. Yes. Look at these drive times. 100 minutes wow. from Round Rock to downtown. We have Cedar Park through Cesar Chavez, 55-minute commute along 183 South. So stay, if, if you're watching this, if you're watching this from work, wait for this squall line to push through. It is moving. And we love to see that it's pushing through the area. It's not going to last too long, but look at these drive times. 20 minutes now in an area that would typically take you five minutes across Mopac heading inbound there. Uh, you could see back up towards the North Georgetown down through uh, 1431 along I-35 inbound 20 minute commute, 33 minutes across Mopac from 45 through Cesar Chavez and just an hour alone from Cedar Park down through Cesar Chavez along 183 East. And then again from Round Rock to down downtown Austin 100 minutes cannot stress it enough it is it's not worth it right now to get out there on the roads one it's going to take you forever two this is life threatening it's dangerous we're also dealing with a new crash looks like coming into the first warning traffic center out in the round rock area that's one of the major reasons why we are seeing that major delay that's just south of 79 it looks like you can see those heavy delays northbound and southbound and you could see why this is in one of the busy areas across the radar where we're seeing the heaviest rain where we're seeing the largest hail again pushing down towards the south and east and as i mentioned earlier this line is slowing down so these areas are going to start to see at least some brief localized flooding in those typical areas that we we see it those low-lying areas especially when you get hit with these heavy bands of rain for a little bit of an extended period of time and to add to that we're still dealing with the hail just south of Round Rock Jollyville area across I-35 to add to that traffic in many areas still at a standstill so if you're watching this from work you're watching this from some friend's house or if you have plans here in the in the That's near future to head out stay home you don't have to stay home all night long this is moving pushing through the area you could actually hear right above our studios it gets closer to downtown austin right now nick you have something for us yeah just tracking the trajectory of that area of hail it's starting to dive more to the southeast as opposed to eastward so it looks like huddo while you've had a little bit of hail, you and Taylor as well, uh, this could be heading right for clipping portions of the uh, Austin Executive Airport and then diving south into northeast Austin. So uh, Austin's not going to entirely miss this. Downtown might miss some of the large hail, uh, but now we're starting to see this hail uh, diving more to the southeast as opposed to being more east-southeast. So North Austin and especially Northeast Austin uh, expecting the potential for hail. If there's good news out of this is that the potential hail size is starting to shrink a little bit. Sometimes these storms have been pulsing and going from larger hail, say golf ball size, slightly bigger, uh, back down to quarter size hail. You can see near Tanglewood Estates uh, and uh, 
uh, I-35 there just to the west of 35. Basically between 35 and 183 is where we have the largest hail now, uh, right over portions of Mopac, right near St. David's North Austin Medical Center, Palmer Lane over there, golf ball sized hail, and this is what's diving east southeast. So could still clip portions of the Pflugerville area with this large hail. I am getting reports of some small hail so far in Pflugerville, nickel and dime size. But as far as the live, uh, of, as the larger hail goes, uh, that looks like it might hit portions of south uh, and southwestern Pflugerville and then northeastern Austin. Nick Bannon, thanks so much with that yeah. hail analysis. Let's go to the Austonian weather camera if we can, and I'll show you what is happening outside of our studios. We hear some loud thunder and heavy rain pounding. Here we are in downtown Austin looking northward toward the worst part of that storm. Let's go to WeatherNet now. Thank you so much to folks in the control room. I'm sorry I keep barking orders at you. Uh, this is really so we can give everybody the best views of the storm. And here we are now on top of our studio at UT looking back toward the south, toward downtown. And you can hardly even see the skyline there as some heavy rain and maybe some small hail fall. Sean. Yeah, if we, if we could actually go back to me, I'm, I'm going to be on the green screen here showing you the tech stock camera. We now have, I have a look here along I-35 and, and McNeil Drive. I can actually see, uh, visibly see the accident here mm. on the shoulder of the road. And that is the one of the major reasons, of course, with the weather right now, the heavy rain, the hail, but also the accident that we're seeing right on the shoulder there along I-35 that is making for over an hour commute here early this evening so please we cannot stress this enough stay off the road we're dealing with again some areas seeing over an hour commute from georgetown down through uh, north austin alone again the largest hail we're continuing to track just south of the pflugerville as this moves down towards the south and east now into northern portions of austin and again moving across that i-35 corridor david Sean, thanks so much. And that hail looks like it's pulsing up one more time. Let's go into that on uh, in North Austin. This is now a little area of concern. Just as this line looked like it was weakening, this is why we've got to pay attention to these storms as they move through Austin. Some small hail stretching toward downtown in that gray color, but some more significant, possibly damaging hail now at I-35 and 183. Here we are tight on the radar now at I-35, just north of the 183 intersection. Um, you can see Mopac and 183 over there, the domain up toward the left hand of your screen. This is radar indicated golf ball size hail falling right now uh, near Ferguson Lane, 183 and 290. This is in northeast Austin, just northeast of 290 and 183, uh, 290 and I-35, pardon me. This golf ball size hail again is capable of vehicle damage, roof shingle damage, maybe even some siding damage if this is wind blown as it, as it would be coming from west to east on that side of your house. And again, this smaller hail extends down toward Austin a little bit. It doesn't look like South Austin is gonna get much hail, fingers crossed. We'll keep you posted if that changes, but the worst of this hail core, even though it is trending a little farther southward, uh, remaining up in northern parts of the town. Here's the new track as this hail core advances, causing some damage, no doubt, in North Austin. In the Miller area at 526, Windsor Park, same time, right next door. Garcia Middle School at 530, yeah. Maynard at 536. If you are ahead of, let's say, uh, what time is it, 525 or so? Ahead of the Maynard area, east of Maynard, you probably still have time to move your car into the carport or into the garage. If you're not, though, this storm is really imminent, and I would prefer that you stay indoors uh, to protect, protect your safety over your property. You can always fix that, of course, at a later date. Uh, as we continue to watch this hail core, let's zoom out. Make sure we're not missing anything else with this line of severe storms. Some small hail picked up in Blanco with a new severe thunderstorm warning. This is, as we switch over to the reflectivity, uh, heading into Hayes County, no doubt. Wimberley, this is on your doorstep, Dripping Springs. You guys are getting a good storm, but not damaging hail as it looks right now. That's a bright side. But this severe thunderstorm warning for Hayes County uh, continues until 545. As we wrap up, guys in the control room, uh, let me know uh, the countdown to nightly. And we we'll, we'll, might... We might release you, okay, we might release you to your regular scheduled programming here, uh, depending on what this hail cord does. Severe storms continue up into Milam County, where dangerous frequent lightning is happening. Some hail, wind damage possible there as well. Let's do a broad track on this whole squall line. You know, the thing about the earlier arrival in Austin is that it's about to be over. Uh, I'll bet the sun is out in Lano right now, behind this storm. Got it, Santos. Uh, 
and, and this is going to clear out very quickly. This is the line is slowing, as Sean told you, but uh, overall, this is not going to be a long-lasting overnight threat at all. Elroy, 559. Bryan, 517, east of our area. Bastrop, 526. Lockhart and Giddings before 7. Smithville at 659. These are the arrival times of heavy rain, dangerous lightning, dangerous wind, and the possibility uh, of some dangerous hail. Oh, no, look at this hail core now in North Austin. I'm not sure we can go to nightly, guys, with this uh, just quite yet. Any reports coming in, gentlemen, in the uh, Weather Center uh, from the Weather Service? in the chat window. I wonder if we're getting any reports yet. Or you can pull up the LSRs um, on the map and we'll see what's popping up. Okay, here's some hail reports. Y you saw that hen egg. That's the eggs in your fridge. Two inch hail. Big enough to no doubt cause roofing damage and obviously vehicle damage. Uh, let's check on some of these. You can do it off air, Nick, if you want so we don't crowd the map. I assume most of these are quite small. I've seen some half inch penny sized, some pea sized hail. Uh, let me know if we're seeing anything bigger than that. There's walnut, which is quarter size. Our map likes to call it walnut. That's one inch hail. Here's some larger hail. Golf ball in Jollyville. Maybe we can hit Nick here in the Weather Center. Uh, golf ball confirmed in Jollyville at 508. Okay, that's where we need to be focused, uh, Laney, for any storm damage as of right now in the Jollyville area. Confirmed report of golf ball size hail. Let's go back in here. Um, we can't release this storm just quite yet, guys. This. Thank you. Just east of I-35 in northeast Austin, this is now some of the worst hail that we've seen today in the viewing area, and it's falling in Travis County. Samsung Boulevard, just south of Palmer Lane. This is in northeastern Travis County, a slightly less populated area, but no doubt we've got some folks out there. Golf ball to hen egg size hail falling in, what, about a 100 square mile area, maybe a 50 square mile area. This is a big hail core moving through Travis County um, really causing some problems for our friends in this area. This is south of Round Rock. Um, it's north, it, it's kind of northwest of the Manor area and moving your direction. Downtown is here at the bottom of your screen. We're not worried about hen egg size hail moving toward downtown as of right now. You see, see that pea sized hail maybe toward downtown. But this hail core is no joke as it moves through northeastern Travis County toward the Manor area. You guys are next. Manor, remain indoors. Bring your dogs inside, any livestock, make sure they are prepared adequately and protected from this. Uh, we saw some videos from North Texas a couple of days ago of some livestock running through tennis ball size hail, and that's not a situation that we want to uh, find ourselves in here in the metro area or anywhere in central Texas tonight. This hail core extends all the way down toward Miller and Windsor Park, where we're uh, detecting about quarter size hail. The worst of it, though, northeast of the 290 I-35 intersection. And here's the new track as this hail core moves east southeastward at about 25 miles an hour, right? Yeah, it's slowed. So it moves it to Austin Executive Airport here any minute. Maynard at 535, uh, Travis State School at 537, Walter E. Long Park at 540. And uh, no doubt it, it could hold together a little bit farther east than that. Okay, we're going to have to let you go here in about 30 seconds, but I promise we'll be back with storm updates as this storm warrants. Just to zoom you out briefly and give you a wider picture of Travis County, a dangerous hail core continues to move through northeast and north central Austin. If you're in the Manor area or anywhere east of Manor on 290, shelter indoors, make sure your pets are taken care of as well. Me, meteorologist Nick Bannon and Sean Kelly will be back with any updates as this situation warrants. Thanks for listening to KXAN News Nightly. You can also listen to KXAN News Today every morning for more in-depth coverage of what matters most to you.